drug-eluting stents are the mainstay of modern coronary artery disease treatment. Although the current generation of drug-eluting stents has led to a reduction of cardiac events, cases remain due to factors contributing to incomplete coverage or recovery of the endothelial function, leading to neoatherosclerosis and its attendant complication of thrombosis. The HT Supreme drug-eluting stent is specifically designed to combat these factors with the development of a unique drug-eluting system that encourages early endothelialization without compromising healing, which potentially contributes to shortening the duration of DAPT therapy, all the while maintaining stent integrity. The HT Supreme consists of proven and safe components, the foundation of which is the cobalt chromium stent platform upon which a thin, uniform, permanent electrografted layer is secured with chemical bonding, making it exceptionally strong. The drug eluting layer, consisting of serolimus embedded in a PLGA matrix, is able to interdigitate with the EG layer, securely adhering to the stent in spite of tortuous paths, balloon expansion, and stent aging. The EG layer acts as a protective coating to the bare metal, ensuring mechanical integrity, thereby preventing a potential source of increased inflammation and thrombosis. Once the HT Supreme is deployed, the PLGA steadily degrades. Unlike other stents, the HT Supreme's controlled drug release profile ensures nearly 100% release of serolimus after 28 days, leaving no drug residue. The PLGA is completely dissolved after 60 days, at which point the serolimus concentration falls below therapeutic levels. At this stage, the EG layer also may encourage early functional endothelium compared to existing stents, resulting in a smooth and thin endothelial coverage, potentially reducing the dependency on lengthy, burdensome dual antiplatelet therapy. The HT Supreme drug eluting stent offers an innovative solution by achieving early functional healing, minimizing the occurrence of late stage events, potentially shifting the current DAPT approach to a new paradigm.